Today, I'm going to be showing you how I turned this into this. Welcome to day five of Thriftmas. Guys, what I'm about to show you requires like absolutely zero skill whatsoever. Uh, it hardly takes any tools at all. I have this little bucket here and this is all I'm going to be using. It just takes a little bit of imagination and uh, a big love of pastel colours. So if you watched day one of Thriftmas, then you'll know that I picked up all of these things from 12 different thrift stores over the course of two days. My plan for these things is to turn them from old and drab into pastel and fab. And I'm going to do that by using spray paint. That's, that's literally it. It's just spray paint. So I started off my experimentation with this clear glass vessel, which I spray painted a chalky, dusty pink. I didn't even use a white layer underneath it, I just sprayed the pink spray paint directly onto the clear glass and it turned out fantastic. I'm really, really happy with it. Experiment two was this phase, which was a, a sort of greenish coloured glass and green cast iron. I spray painted this one with a lighter pink and I really like this shade a lot more than I like the darker shade. But for the sake of this video, I think it's quite nice to have some contrast between my shades of pink. So in my bucket over here I have were three shades of pink spray paint today and two shades of blue. I was very happy with how the gold turned out when I spray painted the cast iron. It, it looks incredible. It's got this really nice metallic finish to it. So let's just have a quick look at the things I'm going to be flipping today and then I'll show you the tools that I'm going to be using. Item one is the trumpet vase. This was $10 and my plan for it is to turn the bottom where it's silver. I want to make that part gold and I want to make the rest pink. This thing, which is a stationary tray, this was only $4. Again, colour scheme, pink and gold, fairly simple. You guys might remember I was contemplating whether or not I should leave these clear or if I should spray them. And after looking on the bottom of them, I see they are from Ikea. So I think I'm definitely gonna spray these. Haven't made up my mind exactly about the colour yet, but we'll decide soon. Tray number one, potentially to become gold. Tray number two, probably gold as well. Tray number three, I have a very interesting plan with this that involves three layers of different coloured spray paint and a lot of detergent. This little guy. You know what Marie Kondo says, does it bring you joy? At the moment, this in its yellow form does not bring me joy. But I believe if I spray it matte pink, it will indeed make me very, very happy. Either pink or white or blue or maybe all three, yet to decide. This too is causing me a dilemma. I think I may actually have to go to Bunnings and pick up some special pastel felt markers that I saw because I think I might just do some very fine little details on this to like retro artwork. This little guy was only $2 and uh, he is about to go from a dark blue to a lighter blue. This little guy was only $1 and I haven't decided exactly what colour yet but probably pink and gold. I have two of this lamp. Once again, I'm yet to decide exactly what I'm doing with it. I actually don't even know if I'm going to be able to take this apart easily. I thought I'd just be able to unscrew all of the elements of it and just spray them individually, but I don't know if this comes apart, so I, I may have a little bit of a challenge ahead of myself with this one. And last but not least is this timber set of drawers. Now this was only $12. There's three drawers, it needs new knobs, it needs to be painted white. So the tools I'm going to be using today. I have a Timber Lazy Susan. This is only a couple of dollars from Ikea. I've got painter's tape, obviously to help me tape off any sections that I don't want spray. I have a little timber block and sandpaper. This is gonna help me sand back uh, the set of drawers, for example. The most important tools of the day, the pastel spray paint. So this one is Dulux Duramax Chalky Finish. I used this one for the large pink vase that was my very first experiment and I was really, really happy with it. This is also Dulux Duramax. This is called a matte enamel and uh, I don't really know what shade it is because it doesn't actually have a shade written on it anywhere but it's essentially like a, a dusty kind of pink. I'm not a huge fan of this one. Then I've got this Rust-Oleum Chalked. This is ultra matte paint in blush pink. Now, I've never used this one before, so I don't know what the color is gonna turn out like, but if it's anything like the color on the lid, I think it's going to be lovely. I have another Dulux Duramax Chalky Finish. This one is a dark blue. Now, I thought that this was gonna be really, really nice when I saw it based on the lid. So I sprayed this little thing, which is just like a, a white, sort of stationary cup that I got from Ikea. And I really don't like the color. It, to me, it's too gray. 
it's like a very, very dirty blue. It's not a pastel blue or a duck egg blue. It's a really dirty blue. So I kind of hate it. Hence why I picked up this one. This is another Rust-Oleum. This is Serendipity Blue. Now on the picture on the spray can here, they actually have a little set of drawers that they've sprayed with this color and it looks quite nice. I hope that this color is going to be as pretty as it is on the lid because if it's too dark, I'm not going to end up with anything blue in today's video. It's all going to be pink and gold. I also have this Dulux Duramax Bright Finish. This is gold and this is an, an excellent gold. This gold is super, super metallic. It looks just like it does on the lid. And of course, I've got Rust-Oleum 2 Times Ultra Cover Flat White Primer. The last couple of things I have are some different handles that I got from Bunnings. These are a gold pull style handle that I thought I could use on the set of drawers. I also have crystal looking knobs too. Now, I haven't decided yet which ones that I'm going to use because it all comes down to whether or not I go white or I go blue on the set of drawers. If the set of drawers are blue, I think they'll look really nice with the gold handles. But if they end up white, I think they'll look nice with the crystal handles. It's going white regardless because the white is going to be the base. If I'm going to be using the blue, it needs to be white underneath anyway. So I'll get to see what these look like white and then I can make the final call whether or not I want to turn them blue or keep them white and then that'll decide which knobs that I use. So that's it. That's everything that you need to know before we start. And with that, I've called in some backup to help me get this done. So let's get to it. Oh, I picked a terrible day to do this. It's so hot. Some of you are familiar with Caitlin. Some of you have, you know, made her acquaintance, but others, for those of you that have not, this Hi. is Caitlin. I'm a friend. She has a broken leg, and while we sit here and DIY some things, she's going to tell us a story. <laughs> because the people want to know. Because it's not every day someone breaks their leg, and I've seen a lot of comments like, so what's the story? Because like, people don't just spontaneously break their leg, there's gotta be some story to it. I went on a first date with someone, and I was like, you know what, it would be sweet and cute, it's a great idea for us to go like ice skating on the first date, there's one down the road, it'll be cute. And what could go wrong? I've never done it before. I fell, of course, and uh, broke it. And I haven't walked for three months. I rang my mom because I was like, ah, my foot hurts. And I literally had to describe to her, I'm like, hey, I went on a first date. I didn't tell you because I was kind of embarrassed. But you didn't tell her? She didn't know? No, she just rocked up. And I was like, take me home or take me to the hospital. And I'm so the thing was, wounded myself. Caitlin didn't realize at first that anything was broken. It was more so like, I thought it was strange. She sent us a message and she's like, hey guys, I don't think I can come over tomorrow. I think I may have sprained my ankle. Going to the hospital now, we'll find out more soon. Yeah, I'll see you the next day after that. Be and fine. you know, as the day progressed and we're thinking, I wonder how Caitlin's doing, you know, we're, we're waiting to hear some news and every so often she's sending us messages saying, hmm, so <laughs> might actually not be a sprain, oh, maybe something else. Uh, still waiting to hear news, may or may not potentially have broken my ankle. We're like, oh no, Caitlin's broken her ankle. Then we got a, I th actually maybe it's just my foot. Maybe we've just broken the foot. And then it's, no, no, it's the oh. whole leg. We've broken the leg. <laughs> okay, here's the scene, right? You're ice skating, it's having a great time. Your date goes, hey, you haven't fallen down in a while. And I'm like, you say that, and now you jinxed it, and he did, because like 10 seconds later I fall down. Fall backwards, left foot goes forward, right foot goes underneath me. If it was like a regular flat surface, you'd like, your foot would hit the ground, you'd fall on your leg, and you go backwards, and you'd be probably okay. Ah, uh, because I was on an ice skate, my foot could either go left or right, down was not an option, so it bent at a certain angle, and then I like landed on it, and I'm not that light, so, yeah. <laughs> the people are gonna want to know, Caitlin. The people. How did things work out with the guy? At that point, it was okay. He's a nice dude. He's probably a nice guy. I don't want to say anything like demeaning on like like things that could be considered like defamatory or something. I don't want to get sued. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, um, this guy, uh, things didn't work out because allegedly he was a bit of a. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't. All right, I, I won't say it. I won't say that he's allegedly something that you don't want to end up with. <laughs> so I went to the hospital. He was like, "Hey, how'd you go?" And I was like, "Broke my leg." And he was like, "Oh, really? Got pics?" So I sent him a photo, and I never heard from him again. Because you didn't send him the pics that he wanted. I did send him the pics that he wanted. Oh no, not those pics. <laughs> and uh, that's it. That's it. That's the end it. Of the story. That was the end of the story. That was uh, the Bumble date gone wrong. That's changed the course of Caitlin's life forever. Not a fun way to spend the end of 2020. 
But I was doing so well too. My 2020 was like doing, I mean, aside from everything that you already know about, it was doing okay. It was doing all right. And then it found me. And it's 2020's gonna on. get you. It's yeah. gonna get you somehow. Dude. Something occurred to me, guys. I put the thing on the thing and I spun it around and I was like, good, okay, I'll take that off and put on the next one. And then I went, how am I going to take that off? It is wet. All right, Mission Impossible. Oh! Eh. Actually, it's a pretty good job. I'm a genius. <laughs> God, it's so hot, I can't go on. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, you can always get like, like a Zoopa Dooper or something from the fridge. If only I had Zoopa Doopers. I have no Zoops, I am Zoopless. Mm. Watch all the Americans be very confused about what a Zoopa Dooper is. Oh my gosh, this sticker says that this bottle is made in Finland. Woo! Made in Finland, ruined in Australia. So I reckon it would be cute if you put like dirt in there and have just like different plants in each section. That would be cute. You're a genius. That's such a good idea! And I grabbed this really unusual bottle slash vase. I'm not really sure what it's meant to be. And I want to spray this one a, a matte color, either matte pink or matte blue. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, dear. There is a God. <laughs> oh, my God.
journey like what an absolute journey that that was harder than it looked I'm not that proud of the work that I've done it might look okay at a distance but when you get up too close you start to notice all the imperfections much like the person that painted it just keep your distance you don't want to look too close all right so let's have a look at these things one by one and I'm gonna show them to you from here so you can't see the poor paint job let's start with the lamps I am so happy with the look of these. When you look too close, you will start to see the imperfections, being that, look, I had, I had a problem, guys. So my original plan was to disassemble these. I thought it would be very easy to somehow get the pillar out, and then I could spray paint the base on its own, spray paint the pillar on its own, but I encountered a problem with the hole in the bottom. So there is a hole in the base of them and there is like a nut in the bottom, but I did not have any tools that would fit in the hole. So what I had to do, I had to tape up the base and then spray paint the tube thing. Then I taped up the tube thing and spray painted the base, but then when I peeled the tape off the gold, it actually took the gold with it. So I had to go back over the top of it. So when you look a little bit too close, you can kind of see it's a little bit mottly and um, it, it doesn't look like it's finished very well. So one day when I source a tool that I can actually put up inside there to undo that nut, I will be able to take this all apart, sand that back down to get rid of the imperfections and then I'll redo it. But as far as the color scheme goes, like pastel pink, gold and white, I ummed and ahed about the combination. I was like, should I do the top pink, the bottom white, that gold, should I do the top gold, should I do the bottom gold? You know, I was thinking of all these different color combinations, but I'm so, so happy that I settled on this one. I'm so proud of them, they're like my little babies. <laughs> these are definitely going into my guest bedroom. So keep an eye out for decorating my guest bedroom. Uh, that's gonna be coming up in a couple of weeks time. So subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you know when I upload it. It's gonna be one of the best videos ever. Oh my God, all the stuff that I'm gonna be putting in that room is going to be so beautiful. So uh, yeah, as far as these go, I think I did a very good job with these and I'm very happy. Up next, I have this teeny tiny little vase. Now this started off as purple and gold and now it's blue, white and pink. I had a vision in mind for this one. I wanted it to look like it was, uh, you know, spilled paint basically. I wanted it to be dripping all the way down. So I had it turned upside down, sprayed it from the top down and let it drip. Now, I'm not sure if it's to do with how hot it was outside, but I didn't get a smooth finish on it. It's really sort of um, 
bumpy and lumpy and almost cracking in some places. So I can probably restart this one. I can probably use the goof off and remove everything that's on it and start again. Or what do you guys think? Do you actually like the look of it? I mean, maybe from a distance, you don't mind it. Color-wise, I think it looks really cute. It's just a little bit messy. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep this one like this or not. Tell me what you think down below. <laughs> Next, okay, guys. I know, I know. I know. I feel like you're either going to love this or you're going to hate it. I obviously wanted it to look like there was gold leaking all over it. I put three different shades of pink underneath and then one layer of gold over the top. Now the gold went super, super crusty because the pink underneath was all bubbly and crusty too. Dan said, it's ugly pretty. It's ugly, but in a pretty way. What do you guys think? I, I think it kind of looks aged. You might like it, you might hate it. I feel like this one would be an easy one to strip all of the spray paint off and start again. But you know what? I, I don't mind it too much from a distance. It doesn't look too bad, right? <laughs> Tell me what you think below. Feel free to roast me alive if you like. Speaking of roast me alive. If you left a comment while I was spray painting this, freaking out. I want you to go back and edit your comment and call me a goof. <laughs> yes, goof off, saved the day. Honestly, I, I learned a valuable lesson, guys, and that is don't alter anything until you've actually uploaded the video and until people can tell you whether it's a good idea or not. Because I had already started spray painting this stuff before I uploaded that video. So when I uploaded it, all of your comments started coming through and my heart literally like sank through the floor. I was so upset. I, I can't believe that the goof off worked and it worked perfectly. It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> and uh, you know what's funny? Now that this vase and I have been through some trauma, I feel like we've bonded. I've actually fallen in love with it. I insulted it in that video and said I thought it was ugly. But the longer I look at it, and now that I know the meaning and significance behind it and just how old it is and who made it and everything, I feel very, very attached to this vase and I'm so glad that things worked out for the best. <laughs> Thank you everyone that left a comment, but also can I just say like, how did you guys know? Like, how did you know this was valuable? Did, did someone just recognize it and be like, hey, I have that at home, or like my mom has that? Or did people just go on Google and type in hexagonal yellow vase value or something? How did you guys know? How would they know? Anyway, it's survived and it looks exactly like it did when I brought it home. I'm very lucky and I did learn a very valuable lesson. <laughs> Next up is something that I'm particularly proud of. This was the hexagonal white vase. Now, look at it. Don't you think I did a good job? Although, just don't look too close because when you, when you do look close, you'll realize I actually didn't do such a good job. The, the paint is kind of dripping in funny places and the edges are not clean whatsoever. I did this in such a hurry. The problem was that I wasn't waiting for each hexagon to dry before I moved on to the next one. I sometimes was putting tape over the top of wet spray paint and you know, I was just hurrying to get this video done. So it, it is my fault. I feel like I can probably go back over this and touch it up in my own time. But from over there, do you like the look of it? I have three pink hexagons. The rest are all blue and white. I did try it out just putting all blue, but it didn't look quite right. So I'm really glad that I put the white in to break it up. My other dilemma was I thought perhaps I could tape off each edge, put a piece of tape here, piece of tape here and spray paint down here as gold. So I could do gold edges on all of the hexagons. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do that? Should I edge it with gold? Like maybe when I go back over it to touch it up and touch up all of my errors, do you think that I should put gold? I could put it around the rim. I could put it uh, not in between the white stripes, but just on the edges along here, like an outline. What do you think guys? Should I leave it like this? I'm so excited to put some plants in here. Anyone that's into plants, please give me a suggestion as to what sort of plant you'd like to see in here. But this is, Aside from the lamps, so far, this is what I'm the happiest with. Now, speaking of things I'm really happy with, my little Ikea vases. These turned out so well, I could scream. Oh my God, I love them. How adorable are they? So I don't know if you can still buy these at Ikea. I'm gonna have to look online because if you can, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more and uh, do exactly this. Spray paint them white, color the polka dots blue and pink. Oh, look, they match my top. I'm so, 
Oh, I'm ridiculously happy with how these turned out. I was not entirely certain that I wanted to spray paint these because the clear ones didn't look too bad. But now that I've done this, they look edible. They look like little pastel Christmas trees and I'm so happy. I want to find more so I can do the same thing. I want a whole collection of these guys. So these are definitely up there in my top, I would say top three favorite things that I flipped today. Now I tried to do the same thing with this. Remember this was the black uh, knot vase. It was kind of like a tea light holder. I basically stuck all these little sticky pearl things all over it and I've colored them the same blue and pink as I did with the other vases. But these didn't adhere very well. And uh, I think I probably should have used super glue because as I was coloring them, some of them were actually sort of coming loose. The spray paint also wasn't completely dry, but these little things did not bond properly. So they could very easily be knocked off. So I've just got to be very, very gentle with this one. Hopefully you can see what my grand plan was. I will be putting some flowers or something in here, dried flowers. Obviously the Ikea vases already had the little nubs on them, so that made it much easier. But even if you find something that doesn't have the little nubs, you can always create them yourself. But I would definitely say maybe use super glue to glue them down. But uh, this little trio together, I think it looks really, really cute. I love it. The stationery holder turned out all right. You know, it's funny, when I removed the tape that was protecting the silver part, I actually really liked the look of it as silver with pink. And now that I've gone over the top of it with the gold, I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that the, the silver looked better or do you think that the gold is better? Now, once again, this is one that I was kind of messy with because I didn't really tape it off properly. So I do have some spots that I need to correct. I didn't have time to do that before I filmed this, but just, see, just look at it, look at it from a distance. Much better. As long as you can't see the mistakes, they don't exist. This is gonna go on my study desk and I'm gonna put uh, you know, pens and pencils, or I could use it on my makeup vanity and put makeup brushes in it. Yeah, maybe that would be better. Maybe makeup brushes. Either way, this to me looks a lot better than it looked when it was the timber and the silver. This is much more my vibe, so very happy with how this one turned out. Another one that I'm super chuffed about is the vase. So remember that this was white and silver, but pink and gold now, beautiful color scheme. Uh, the problem down here was, again, I put the tape over the top of the spray painted gold, and then when I peeled the tape off, it ruined it. So I had to go back over it again. So there's a little bit of gold spray paint that made it up here when I sprayed it the second time. But once again, from a distance, <laughs> they'll never know. How would they know? If you watched day three of Thriftmas, you might remember this white plate that I got because I thought it would fit really nicely on here to make it like a coffee table. And even that with the white, pink and gold, even that looks quite nice too. I could possibly use this like a little coffee table or plant stand. I could put a pot plant on the top of this or I can put plants directly into it. This is a very versatile piece. And if you remember this guy over here. All right, next up are the trays. Now this one went through a fair few different changes before I decided. So I tried to put daisies on it, didn't like the look of them. Tried to write the word love, didn't like the look of that. Decided you can't go wrong with pink and gold. So this one is just like most of the other pink and gold things, nothing particularly special about it. I had really hoped that you would be able to see the design. It had this sort of engraved design in it. I had hoped that you'd be able to see that through the pink, but it completely covered it. Luckily for me, the handles are detachable. They just screw on and off. So I was able to unscrew them and spray paint them from silver to gold. I think I like them a lot more as gold. I think as far as what I'm gonna do with this one, I will probably put it in my wardrobe somewhere in one of these um, wardrobe units and I will put jewelry and all sorts of things on it. Sunglasses, jewelry, watches, you know, all that sort of stuff. So this is just a decorative tray to put things on. So this tray already had gold handles. I didn't have to do anything to those. I just unscrewed them and I sprayed it this blue color, but I'm actually not happy with this at all. The blue to me is way too dark. I wish it was a, a softer, more pastel blue, but this blue to me, it throws a little bit too much gray and it almost looks dusty. What do you think guys? It is quite an antique kind of blue, but yeah, not that happy with it. This one is obviously once again, perfect for jewelry because it has all of those grooves. I can put all sorts of different things in here. Between the two of them, I do like the pink one a lot better than the blue, but maybe once I've put my jewelry and stuff on it, maybe I'll like the look of it. Keep an eye out on my Instagram account. That's where I'm gonna be posting pictures of all of these things and how I style them around my house. My Instagram's pretty pastel, please. Now this plate, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So this was that trick that I saw on TikTok 
where you spray the colors, then you go over with detergent, then you put a color on top of the detergent, then you wash it away once it's dry. I think that this looks really, really cool. I'm so happy with this. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this one for. I guess once again, I'll just use it to store jewelry and various things on, but this, inspired me to do something else. And that was with the set of drawers. So here they are. <laughs> I'm happy, but I'm also not happy for a couple of reasons. So you know that plate I just showed you, how it had the pink and the blue underneath white. My original intention with this set of drawers was I wanted to do that with the drawer fronts. So that's why I sprayed it pink, blue, pink, blue, and I lined it all up so that the pattern, you know, crosses over the drawers like this. But when I looked at it with the pink and blue spray paint, without having put the detergent and the white over the top, I was like, actually, that doesn't look half bad. Maybe I should just leave it like that. So I put it back on and I put the knobs on and I do really like the way that it looks. But that being said, what do you guys think? Do you think that I should do the detergent and then put the white spray paint or should I leave it like this? Now, I encountered a couple of problems I thought that the drawer faces were all like interchangeable, aside from the bottom one, the bottom one is deeper, but I thought that these two, I didn't take note of which one was the top and which one was the middle. And I also didn't take note of which way was up and down. Cause when I took the panels off, I was like, these are perfectly rectangular and both of them are exactly the same size. That'll be fine. But then when I screwed them back on, what you can't see is they're actually sitting kind of skewed. So this side is a lot closer together than this side over here. And when I look at it from underneath, I can actually see into the drawer. It's the panel is not sitting properly. So I actually either have to screw some new holes. Well, yeah, actually that's, that's what I'm going to have to do. Cause I can't put this piece there because then the pattern won't match up. So I've got to go back to the drawing board and put some new holes in. And also the screw that came with these knobs is way too deep. Uh, it's not, it's not flush, the knob is not flush against the panel. So I've got to make a couple of minor adjustments, but for the sake of me showing you how it turned out, as you can see, I think it's really cute. This was very easy to paint. I think it looks so much better now that it's white instead of the old timber. This was a $12 set of drawers. These knobs were like $3 each at Bunnings, about $20 for this set of drawers. I mean, I'm, I'm not factoring in the spray paint, but look, the spray paint, one tin of pink spray paint did absolutely everything and there's still some left. So that, that's a negligible cost to me. So do you think these drawers are worth $20? What do you think, guys? So that's it, that's everything. Please tell me what your favorite items were and please tell me what you hate. I'm totally open to the feedback. If there's anything that you think I should start again, as we've learned from the yellow vase, most things are reversible. <laughs> So if there's anything that you think I should go back and start again, and maybe if you have any great ideas as to what I could do with them, for example, like the, the ugly, pretty gold and pink vase, maybe if you have some better ideas as to what I should do with it, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this thrift flip video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know down below if you're enjoying Thriftmas and if you have any other thrift store videos that you want me to make this month. I have other things coming up later that I will also be spray painting and changing and everything. So keep an eye out for those videos. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah!